and just, just open that out a bit more. Now the last thing you want to do is make it like massively huge because uh, that, you know, like I said, you'll find that you'll end up. If I zoom in, I'll show you. Um, see these little um, these little crosses here, these little um, plus signs and that. Um, you, you'll end up catching them underneath the arms and things like that if you make it too big. And uh, like I said earlier, the last, the last thing you want to do is uh, catch other body parts because they'll end up reacting to what the arm does, and it will just deform your character completely and you cannot really use it okay so work on each body part at a time so for here I'm doing the forearm then I'll do the um, the upper arm then I'll do the fingers and the hand okay so you need to do it that way alright so I have a finger here that's um, deformed slightly I'll find out which one it is in a minute ah it's the thumb okay so what I need to do is click on the hand envelope I find one of the um, the thumb links, okay, and I'm going to open that up a bit more, and I'm going to bring the child overlap along a bit so it pulls out a bit more, and I'm also going to bring it in a bit as well, okay, okay, turn off the envelope, select the hand, now hopefully it should move. There we go, it's moved with it. And like I say, if I just uh, move this round so we see the top of the hand, what we want to try and do is rotate the fingers to make sure that they move well. Right, select the uh, the very first knuckle or finger link, and just try and move it. And as you can see, it moves. It moves very very well. It's just the angle that you're at. That's it. There we go. You need to mess around with um, with each of these different um, angles to see which one works the best for you. As you can see, the fingers move as well. Okay, so I'm going to move right out, right out, and I'm going to move the uh, the hand again just to make sure that everything moves with it. Oh pulled the hand right out. Yeah, you need to be careful not to select the actual mesh because if you select the mesh you will move it. If you want to move body parts make sure you select the biped. And as you can see we have a bit of problem on the upper arm there. It's not moving with um, the rest of it so I need to edit this part here. So envelope and the upper arm. Now because I'm getting close to other body parts here I need to be very careful like I said that I don't make this too large and have problems with other body parts. Okay. Right. Oh, let's turn the physique off. And there we go. As you can see it's moving. Now, here's my very first problem that I've encountered. Look at his armpit just here when I move the arms. As you can see what I was saying earlier about um, having problems with um, catching other body parts well it's reacting in a bad way because now his arm his arms pits move right in so if I put the arm down there um, it's moved right into his rib cage so what we need to do is fix that so envelope and I need to bring this right down and I know which uh, which areas are affected right under the armpit here. Now this is the bit where you need to um, lock vertices from um, being affected. So go to vertex, that's all these bits here. So I'm going to highlight them and click lock assignments. Okay, go back to envelope. I'm going to now open it up. Okay, envelope again. Select the hand, and there we have it. The armpit is now not affected because I've locked the vertices. Okay, very very simply done. Right, um, I'm just going to do the other arm, and I'll be back with you uh, for the final stage. So uh, I'll see you in a moment. 
Right, I've now completed the uh, the other arm now, and as you can see, it all moves very, very well. Um, one thing you do need to be careful of um, is when you're doing the fingers, uh, when you're enveloping them, make sure that um, each finger does not interact with the finger next to it. So obviously, like I said, um, if you look here, uh, make sure that all the vertices in this finger here are locked and this one here, because otherwise, um, again, the mesh will um, get stuck to the mesh next to it so like I said whenever you're doing anything make sure that you uh, lock any vertices that may get in the way but um, like I say luckily enough um, I've, I've sorted this hand out pretty well okay so now we've done all of the limbs um, again we need to adjust the face now okay and that also includes the eyes as well okay so if I just uh, zoom out so I can get a nice view of the side. I'm going to turn this view here into a... there we go, That's it. so I can see better now. I'm going to select the head. Okay, actually no, I'm going to select the neck. There we go. And I'm going to try and move the head forward. Now look what happens. As you can see, it's it's gone crazy. It's gone absolutely crazy. So um, obviously we we need to do the same thing for the teeth and the eyes as well, so that they uh, latch onto the head. And when you've finished uh, fine tuning everything, uh, you should um, have um, a perfectly um, movable biped character, so to speak. Uh, here we go. As you can see, everything moves well. Now to make this even better, if you select a biped um, part, I'll, I'll just click the spine there. Uh, go up to the motion. Uh, what we have here, um, if we just come out of um, that's it, come out of that and go into the footsteps mode, okay, you can actually open up a file. Now in your tutorials folder that you, you get with Max, you've got all these different moves that you can have, you know like footsteps, you also get a little video here that shows you uh, what the move does. Um, there's a whole load of them. You've got um, the footsteps animations, you've got uh, interacting with objects, you know, like sword fighting, that sort of thing. Uh, you've got all kinds of different things, and all you do is open it, and basically your character will have um, already made keyframes of that action. So um, if, you, if you're worried about making him walk and all the rest of it, it's, it's already been done. All you have to do is apply it to your biped, and he will walk off. Right, the final step to um, this uh, tutorial is making sure that you go up to um, this option here and select all of the biped parts, not the um, the rest of the body, but just the biped. Select, right click, object properties, make sure it's set by object and uncheck renderable. Okay, uh, because if you've got it under renderable, um, if there's any parts of your biped that shows over the top of your mesh, they will render too, and it, you do not want that. Okay, you do not want it to render, so make sure that's done. <clears throat> and that's basically the tutorial. Um, I hope it's been useful. Um, please f feel free to uh, visit the site videoeffectsuniverse.com. Uh, my name's Dave, and uh, I will speak to you soon. Bye.